you know, get to press the button. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just a very quick little run over some <laughs> of the tunnel functionality as is. Okay, yeah, just a brief history. We've all kind of seen that who's anyone who's been using 12D for the last couple of years, is, we're well aware there's this simple tunnel creation thing in there. Basically, it first appeared in V9 embedded in one of the Leica outputs. It was a very clumsy way of doing this stuff, but a few people said, oh, that's really nice functionality. Can we get it? It was a legacy DOS format I stole off myself from a tunnel project we started in the 1990s. It's that by the old. Uh, Anyway, in V10, we started to advance it a little bit. So for people who wanted to use it, we gave it its own panels. So yeah, in V10, if you went under design tunnels, there was this create option, very basic, just simply uh, the ability to define the profile, the shape, and where this was applied. Did we miss something there, please? No, no, no. Oh, no. So one of the things that Lee was mentioning before about this stuff, <laughs> it's called tunnel, it's nothing to do with tunnel. You can use it for anything, bridge beams, headstocks, pipes, culverts, vehicle envelopes, you name it. At the end of the day, it's just, yeah, it's just simply a way of finding some shape extruded along a centre line. And one of the big things, obviously, with it was that we can do it normal or vertical to the centre line. So with V10, with the super alignments, they're genuine 3D. So when we do the apply, the apply can be normal to the centre line. It's very useful. As a note, at some stage in V12, I will introduce that into the normal MTF apply so that you'll also be able to do a normal option there. That's not quite happened yet. Anyway, so when you go into tunneling for V11, it's a little bit different. You'll notice there's a lot more tabs on the panel. First tab is this manage paddle panel. It uh, allows you to create, delete, rename profiles. The profiles are just a bunch of straights and arcs that define the shape of the profile at that point. It's got some legacy input output stuff and it just allows you to draw a super string on the screen and import that as a tunnel profile. Big difference for V11 is that the center line, the way it's applied in the chain is type stored the definition. E.g. you tell when a guy, if someone goes to use the tunnel, you define the center line, you define whether the profile is applied normal or perpendicular to the center line and whether you're using two or 3D changes. This is all wrapped up in a tunnel definition now. Previously, when the guy went to do a bit of, now this is the V11, when someone goes to use a V11 dialog, they just pick a tunnel definition. They don't have to worry. You've already done it, set it up for them. In V10, it was a little bit more ugly. Let's see, there's another one. In V10, they had to pick the tunnel. They had to pick the, file, the profile file that defined it. They had to pick whether it was normal or vertical. It was obviously very error prone. So this is just simply this stuff's been wrapped up into one. In V11, this stuff, the profiles and assignments are the same. The profile, again, is the shape there. It's just simply what the shape will look at that chainage. And the assignments are where the certain profiles are applied. No smart changes in this one yet. It's still good old-fashioned numbers. I'm my own worst offender. Now, in addition for V11, to make it a little bit more flexible over what we were in V10, we can now... And this is especially applicable for the rail jobs or other envelopes or various things. We've got the three ways the tunnel axis can be translated. It can be translated in offset, height, and rotated. It's as simple as that. And again, just again, this is a very brief one. Again, it's a multi-purpose tool. It's just for creating shapes along the center line. And the only other thing we've added in the uh, create panel itself is, obviously for V11, we allow you to create the tri-meshes. Again, because the tri-meshes can fold over on themselves, we can give you that full 3D shape as we do with a lot of other options. And basically, yeah, that, as you've seen before, that was what we used to produce with V10. In V11 with the tri-meshes, the other bits and pieces, we get the lovely solid shape. That was it, we just got a little fun project just to show the silly things you can do, if it works this time. It's again. busted again. Classic. At least it says there's a PowerPoint. Beware using PowerPoint. Yes. As you notice, Blake's had a few lessons on this over the break.
Yeah. <laughs> Alan's not here, is he? We'll spring it on him as a surprise. I think we need a quick light on. That's pretty on. Oh, that tunnel one. It's in that. Oh. That's it. Well, okay. Okay, so again, without going into any detail at all, that's just a simple little job just showing that, like a typical pipeline going down the vertical slope and heading off. They're the simple sort of things that you can just model with this little tool if necessary. Again, you can just turn the tri-mesh on and make that a solid thing. So again, it's just a quick one that you can do anything you like. Now, the whole reason I did this, again, that's a typical little vertical lineman for that guy. Just to finish it off, you can do whatever you feel like with this stuff. So anyway, you can do all silly little things. And obviously you can do uh, the loop the loops. That's a just normal super alignment. You can do that with a super alignment. So just out of point of sheer silliness to say the sort of stuff you can get away with, we can have just a little bit of fun. So this literally just took me 10 minutes of stupidity to whip up. But again, it's just the thing. This is what you can do. Actually, I stole this off from one of the Kiwi Sean, who was th did a bit of a luge sort of job in New Zealand, so I thought, oh, this is a good play thing. Just a combo of nice 3D, this again is a 3D super alignment, obviously, everything's being projected normal to the super alignment. Peter didn't like my natural surface, so he got rid of it. That took me five minutes to whip it up. Round the loop, the loop. Oh, yeah, have a bit of fun. You know, Lee pays me to do this too. <laughs> oh, there we go. It took me a little while to work out how to do the, the Ferris wheel thing for the super alignment, but once I got the hang of it, it was actually quite simple. Anyone like to know how to do that? Mick knows. Just ring Mick up. Now that he's fully trained in this. Yeah, well, here we go. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, it flips on yours. <laughs> anyway, that was all it was. So it was just a point that you can do whatever you feel like with it. It's a straightforward, simple little tool.